Good day and how's it going? The last video we made with this big buddy heater here, we swapped the fan and made it run off a of 12 volt DC. But then I got this comment. So now we're gonna go ahead and take that fan out and make it run off of no battery. Let's get to it. This here is the heart of the entire setup. It's a heat generator or Peltier module and a blower motor out of a wood stove fan. And that's what we're going to use to turn this blower wheel. This is the blower wheel out of the 6 volt motor on the body heater. So I wanted to test fit it and it works perfectly. So you know what I did? I broke out that crazy glue and I made a nice little marriage between the two units here so they'd be stuck together forever. I made this little bracket out of some 3 quarter board, drilled a 1 and a quarter inch hole in it and it accepts that motor perfectly. And then we're going to use that little bracket we made to go ahead and attach it to the back cover. But first, let's test and make sure it all works. So when I'm heating up the one side, the other side is cool at this point, and the motor's working really well. So I got really excited, thought let's pop off this back cover, there's just four screws holding it on. If you haven't seen me take this all apart before, make sure you check out that 12 volt swap video because I go into depth of how to pop this off. There's a little trick. You gotta pull up like I do here and then try not to knock into other stuff. So there's that 12 volt motor. I went ahead and swapped out into it. So I'm gonna go ahead, take this apart. There's another four screws holding on this heat shield that I have the motor mounted to. And when you go ahead and pop that off, I ended up taking all the electrical out, cutting that off because hey, we're doing a new setup. We don't need this anymore. I went ahead, test fit it, found it's gonna work great. It's at the right height, everything that I need. So I added in the ducting again because of that 12 volt swap, I cut out some ducting to accept the fan. Put in the bracket, put it on there. Fan and motors fit perfectly. I did a little test here. It all worked really well and I'm super excited. So I put it all back together. And at this point, I didn't know this. I had to research this later because I made a mistake here. I ended up mounting the module directly onto the grill and you'll see a big mistake I made coming up. But after I put it back together, I found you have to keep one side of this module cold and the other side hot. And that difference, that thermal difference is what helps make that electrical current that's going to end up running our fan. So I didn't know this at this point and when I first turned it on, the fan started running, everything got hot, but as it ran, it got slower and slower the fan was pushing less and less air till it completely stopped and I was wondering why is this happening so I thought maybe it just has to get hotter again so I tried a few things I hit it and I just let it heat up and then I kind of wiggled the wires and moved it into a different position then something bad happened I melted off the wires so I knew I had to change the position of the module and I also had to make sure that there's ice or something on top keeping it cold and well, when you're ice fishing, you have lots of ice. So I made this. This is a little loaf tin. I glued on the module onto it. I added some little feet made from coat hangers, put a hose in it so you can constantly be adding more ice or cold water and have the old stuff run out. So any water that's in there can run out and you can keep adding in new ice, new snow, whatever you're using. And look, it works perfect. I ran this for a good 10 minutes to make sure that there wasn't an issue. And here's the big reveal. I went ahead and wanted to do a time lapse. I ran the buddy heater for one hour. So I fired it up, took a few minutes for that fan to kick in. I added in some more ice. As I checked the temperatures, I saw that the module was heating up perfectly on the one side, staying cold on the other. I went ahead and added some streamers in there, a little bit of ribbon so we could see that air movement. I had to end up doing a tank swap midway because my propane tank wasn't full when I started this test. So as you can see there, had to heat up again, but that fan kept running.
So I had to add more ice as it went. I had to change out the cup I had behind that was catching the water. And after I turned it off, the fan ran for a little bit and it was a great success of a test. At the end of the day, we were able to make this fan run off of, well, the Pelche effect, a heat generator. We were able to make it run off of heat and ice. That's pretty cool in my books. Is it effective? I don't think it's as effective as the 12 volt method, but it is pretty darn cool that we were able to do that. I'll probably be going ahead and converting this back to 12 volt, but probably doing something pretty cool with it along the way. So that being said, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a like on this video, and if you have any other ideas, put it in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and fish on.